Hi, Julian David here with Liquid Sonics. Today we'll talk about how to get started with M7 Link, a controller plugin for the Bricasti M7 Reverb processor. M7 Link is also an ideal, cost effective remote control for the Bricasti M7M Reverb processor mainframe. In this video, you'll learn how to install the plugin, set up your MIDI connections on Mac and PC, and get started with the DAW integration for your M7 hardware unit. To begin, make sure to download the latest version of the M7 Link software from the Liquid Sonics website. The plugin can be authorized via iLock USB dongles, iLock Cloud, or an iLock machine activation. Before installing the plugins, please install the latest version of the iLock License Manager and redeem your activation code to your iLock account. To install the M7 Link plugin, just run the installer packages and follow the guided instructions on the screen. M7 Link is a plugin tool to control the Bricasti M7 Stereo Reverb processor via MIDI. A compatible MIDI device is required for M7 Link to work. Each M7 in your system must be used with a dedicated MIDI port and cable. We strongly advise against attempting to use MIDI pass-through with other devices in a chain or using virtual MIDI ports. Many MIDI devices are compatible with M7 Link, but not all. Please review the user guide for a list of known compatible devices. In this example, I'm using an iConnectivity MIOXC USB MIDI interface for a single Bricasti M7 unit. One important note, the M7 does not automatically send program or parameter update messages in response to changes on its front panel. When you switch or modify a preset on the M7 front panel, there will be no corresponding update message sent to M7 Link. So it is recommended to drive the M7 entirely from M7 Link rather than a combination of the panel and plugin to ensure they stay in sync. Now, if your M7 hardware is tucked away in the machine room, this should be no problem. But it's important to remember this if it's within easy reach. Once the software installation and authorization are complete, connect your Bricasti M7's MIDI ports to dedicated MIDI device ports. If you have more than one M7 unit that you'd like to remote control, you can use multiple plugin instances. There's no limit to the number of units and instances you can run, but a dedicated MIDI port is needed per device. By the way, if you're running low on MIDI inputs in your system, it is usually okay to just make a physical connection from the computer's MIDI output to the MIDI input of the M7, because typically M7 Link does not need to receive any data from the M7. That is, unless you wish to transmit presets from the M7's user registers, but more on this advanced topic later. When using multiple devices, you may wish to name your appropriate MIDI device ports on macOS in the Audio MIDI Setup application. Audio is handled by your DAW via the analog or digital M7 ins and outs as usual. M7 Link does not have any audio processing capabilities. It simply controls the configuration of hardware that you already own and just acts as a pass-through for any audio on the track it is inserted on. As such, you can choose to insert the M7 Link plugin on a dedicated blank mono or stereo track, a master fader, or on an aux track with your reverb return. Although M7 Link typically imposes no latency, some Pro Tools HDX users may experience latency when using M7 Link on some channels. Please make sure you have selected the correct analog or digital audio format for your setup in the plugin. Digital is selected by default. If you typically use your M7 with analog I.O., you can change this default in the plugin settings menu. You may also wish to double check the preferred output level, routing, and display brightness values chosen by the plugin to suit your needs and set defaults as appropriate. In your DAW, do not attempt to send MIDI to and from the plugin using any host specific mechanisms. A direct connection managed by the plugin is required. And of course, the M7 should be turned on before any attempt is made by M7 Link to communicate with it to ensure synchronization. Next, click the cog icon in the top menu bar to pull up a drop down menu with system settings. Select the appropriate MIDI port to connect M7 Link to your M7 hardware and you're good to go. If you only have one M7 in your system and your MIDI device setup does not change very often, you can avoid this step every time you use the plugin by setting a default MIDI device from the settings menu. Then, every time you open a new instance of M7 Link, it will automatically attempt to make a connection to your M7 using this MIDI device if it is available. You may wish to visually identify an M7 if you have multiple devices in your setup to be sure you have selected the correct MIDI port. Go to the advanced submenu in the settings to show an ID message on your M7 hardware. When you're finished, deselect this option to return to normal operation. Pro Tools in Windows reserves all available MIDI devices at startup for exclusive use by itself. Pro Tools must be prevented from doing so for any devices that you wish to use with M7 Link to avoid a connection failure. 
With Pro Tools and M7 Link open, navigate to the Advanced Plugin Settings and create an excluded MIDI ports text file. Close Pro Tools and open the file on your desktop. It will contain any MIDI devices found on the system. Delete any devices that you do not need to use with M7 Link, retaining those that you wish to connect to. Now move this file to your Pro Tools application folder and restart Pro Tools. You should now get a successful connection message when selecting one of the MIDI devices in the M7 Link settings. If this does not work, please ensure you have Pro Tools 12.5.1 or above. Cubase in Windows, on the other hand, reserves all MIDI input for some devices. To enable M7 hardware to M7 Link transmissions, for example for importing user registers from the hardware, you may need to disable the In All MIDI Inputs option in Cubase Studio Setup. Please make sure to restart Cubase after making changes in this window. If you've been enjoying your M7 hardware for a while, you may wish to import user registers to M7 Link. You can easily do this via MIDI SysX messages in just a few steps. Let me show you how. First, we have to ensure M7 Link's advanced MIDI settings have been configured to enable MIDI input. If this hasn't been previously enabled, the plugin needs to be restarted. By default, the plugin does not listen for SysX messages on the MIDI inputs, so this must be manually enabled. We also need to ensure the M7's MIDI out is connected to the MIDI input of the selected interface, which I have already done in my setup. Then, we select a user register that we wish to transfer on the M7 hardware. Next, press and hold the Edit button on the M7 until the tap light flashes indicating a SysX transmission. A pop-up message should be displayed by the M7 Link plugin to say that a SysX register was received. The register will be saved to disk as a user preset in the SysX registers category. And with that, you're now ready to remote control your Brucasti M7 hardware with M7 Link. Make sure to check out our M7 Link overview video and the user guide for more help on using the plugin. Thanks for watching and happy mixing.